Who doesn't know Ernie Hudson, an American actor from Ghostbusters and The Crow? And yes, ladies, he also played an important part in your favorite sitcom, Desperate Housewives. It's remarkable how young you look. Oh, young? You're 65, aren't you? Uh, no, that's, uh, well, I'll be 62 in December. <laughs> well, I forget everybody knows, it's all over the internet now. You can't, you can't lie about your age anymore. Compare you know? your photos. Um, Maybe one wrinkle, but... Uh, well, you know, life goes on. It's all good. Well preserved. Well, yeah. Well, you know, it's all about uh, it's all about living good and um, yeah. and laughing a lot. Yeah. Um, my first question, of course, your most famous character is uh, Ghostbusters. Um, there are a lot of rumors about a third Ghostbusters. What have you heard about it? Um, well, I've been hearing about it. I hear about it from the fans a lot, but um, uh, I haven't heard anything officially from the studio. And to me, that's the only important thing. Yeah. Uh, but so far, yeah, no, I haven't heard. I heard, I did, uh, I was approached to do a uh, Ghostbuster video game. Yes. And so I know that's coming up and that's, um, that's real. But, um, but I read on the internet where uh, Danny Aykroyd said they were going to do something in CGI. Uh, a couple of the fans uh, today come, came up and said they heard something about a movie happening. But I, that's, I've been hearing that for 20 years. <laughs> but you will be providing the official voice for the video game. Yeah, definitely, that's a big definitely. Scoop. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, no, yeah, 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 the video game. Yeah, that's uh, that's a definite. And uh, we were supposed to do it at the end of the summer, but it got pushed back, I think, to January. But I know it's coming out within the next year. It's really important for the fans that the original voices are back. It's it's a real. It's a big. Yeah, yeah, and I think all the guys are back. Those, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I hear all the guys are back, including Bill Murray. That's why I hear. So. Yeah, that's a difficult one, isn't it? Yeah, that. Yeah, Bill is. Uh, he's he's the, uh, you know, the independent one. So. There's a, an internet phenomenon right now, uh, you may not have heard of it, but it's not important. He's called the Angry Video Game Nerd, and he's mm. reviewing all the old um, Nintendo and Atari games. Okay. Which, of course, includes Ghostbusters, <laughs> because there was a game made of it. And yeah. in it, in his film, he rants about the fact that you're absent from these games. It's really, it's a shame. There are three characters from the movie, all white guys, yeah. and you're always missing. Have yeah. you ever heard anything about it? It's really strange. Well, well, I haven't heard, but I'm not really surprised. I mean, when the movie came out, um, you know, the character was um, missing from the, um, yeah. the first poster. Um, but you know, you're dealing with the studio system, so um, there's certain things, you know, I, I feel I can't control. So I, all I really see is I'm not really surprised. Um, I think when the studios feel it's to their advantage, they'll laugh the character, and when it's not, they, they don't. But I know nothing's done out of kindness. Um, but it's so, a shame, isn't it? Because you're oh, one of the most well, popular characters in the yeah, franchise. Yeah, yeah. And still and, um, you're missing an action from the video game. Yeah, that's true. But then we look at the movies, too. I mean, um, the original script, I came in the very beginning and I was throughout the whole movie. But then just before we started shooting, um, the character was taken out of the whole first half of the movie. Do you believe in UFOs, astral projections, mental telepathy, ESP, clairvoyance, spirit photography, telekinetic movement, full trance mediums, the Loch Ness Monster, and the theory of Atlantis? Uh, if there's a steady paycheck in it, I'll believe anything you say. And then in the second movie, he was taken out from the whole first half of the movie. So I kind of go, whatever. I'm just, um, you know. Finally, this time you'll be making an appearance in the new video game. So well, in the new video game, but then will be done. Well, you you hope, but then um, you know, unless you have some kind of control, which I don't, you you never know what's going to come out. So I, I never really. In the, in the, at the end of the day, it really ultimately doesn't matter to me personally. You know, no, uh, no, no, it doesn't. Um, it would be great because I think um, I think everybody kind of benefits if we sort of <laughs> reflect the world the way it, it is. But truth is, some people want to project a different uh, idea of what you know. So anyway, well, we can go on and on and on. No, it's it's uh, I find it quite disturbing. Well, you know what I find is that um, the more you sort of dwell on it, the, the worse it gets. And at some point, you kind of got to go. You know what? Uh, I'm sure in somebody's mind it makes sense. It doesn't make sense in my mind, but um, and so if they're, um, but I'm I'm fine. Yeah, and thank God I don't need that to to be um, 
to be happy and to have a good experience. The key for me in this life experience is to have a great time. It's the right set of money. You know, I mean, we're, we're not here forever. No, no. So you might as well enjoy the trip. Indeed. You know, and all the stuff you really get um, worked up and emotional about, and it doesn't really mean a whole lot anyway. Do you have any memories of the, the late Brendan Lee? Well, uh... Yeah, no, I, you know, Brandon had been a friend for about six years before we did the movie and uh, was a great guy, you know, finally getting his uh, life on track and then this, uh, this thing happened and it's very unfortunate because he was a wonderful young man and he was a wonderful actor. Uh, the movie shows that, but... Uh, Were you on set the day it happened? No, no, I wasn't. Uh, we had dinner uh, two nights before and um, my wife's brother passed away unexpectedly and we flew back for that service. And when I got back, I heard Brandon. Um, so it was a real emotional so it was a, It was an awful time, it was an awful time. In fact, I took the movie No Escape, shooting in Australia, just to get away. I just really needed to get away after that. Such a, it was a dark period in, in my life, you know. I don't know if they've told you, but um, there's a charity going on. It's called Make-A-Wish. Right. And uh, some children, when they're ill or diseased... Uh, sure, they, no, I know the, yeah. Yeah, I know the foundation. Well, yeah. and um, just... What would your wish be? Suppose you're anonymous, you're sick, and you get one wish before you might die or you might get better. What would your wish be if Mr. Hudson could make one wish? I can make one wish before I pass away. Um, yeah, just one final good time, quality time with something or someone. Um, God, I can't even imagine. I mean, I, I, I can't even, the final wish, um, to sort of um, sit um, at sunrise with my wife and uh, just um, that'd be about it. Just uh, family is always the most important. Yeah, but especially my wife. I yeah. have four sons. It'd be great if they're there too. But uh, my wife and I, we've we've journeyed together for. 31 years and uh, she's my best friend and your soulmate you know yeah I, I think um, you know and I, I believe um, this whole life is forever but um, certainly I'll be would be leaving this particular manifestation and um, yeah I, I can't imagine I've been blessed I've had everything I, I can imagine I've ever wanted and so I don't um, you know there's nothing I really sit back and wish I had done or wish I had. Um, no real regrets. No regrets, no regrets. Um, you did it your way as Frank Sinatra Totally, say, that's right, yeah, Cat yeah, you yeah. know. And um, not that it was anything really spectacular, um, but uh, I, I've had a great time. And um, yeah, okay. been good. One final question, um, maybe to the camera. Do you have anything to say to the volunteers of Make-A-Wish, these people who do without any financial gain, they help these children in need, maybe? A, a few words of uh, encouragement to these uh, these volunteers. Sure. Yeah. No. I think it's um it's so important that we reach out to each other and that we make a difference because ultimately the gift that we give is the gift we give to ourselves and I think that's the real healing that takes place in the world and it's a world that really needs healing. So I commend anyone who really um, gives and. So, you know, congratulations and thank you. Thank you for making the difference. Ms. Hudson, thank you. Dude, thank it's you. A, it's been a pleasure. Great, you yeah, no, the pleasure is mine. Yeah.